Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely Aquarius. So this is going to be your daily reading for your general energies and also for your love energies, Aquarius. Let's see what's coming up for your general energies, guys, before we move on to your love energies. Aquarius, what is coming up for your general energies, Aquarius? general energies So what I'm getting for you here, Aquarius, is that today you will be a little bit confused. You don't know what you're going towards. Maybe you don't have a correct aim. But you will be making changes in your home. You're kind of having problems in your household. But you will try to kind of like uh, make things going. Maybe like you need to repair something. You need to call a plumber or an electrician or someone who you need to like make things right. Maybe your uh, bed is going to break or something. Your uh, fan or your air conditioner is not going to work or maybe something is happening or your door is not closing or something your tap um, you're not able to close your tap properly or something that is going to happen okay something that is really kind of like related to your um, environment or something in your environment is not going to go right and you'll be like uh, spending the day in uh, making all these repair uh, to repair all these things so i see here that you may be feeling like you might be even getting into things that you feel like unexpected about so you feel like some things are not manifesting according to you in a physical reality and you feel like you need to accomplish whatever you don't have to okay So this is what I'm getting for you here, Aquarius. I hope you got the overall energies, guys. Let's see what's coming up for your love energies. People are going to respect you, I see here, and today is going to be really fast. Some surprises also coming for you today, so just be sure. I mean, just look out for surprises. I see here that there are so many surprises coming up for you all, okay? For your person's energies. For your energies. Okay, so for your person's energies, your person is really innocent. They're trying to let go. And I also get for you here is that this is a divine connection and you must devalue this connection. So maybe before they don't value this connection, but right now they value this connection, guys. That's what I get for you here. This person, what they did was before maybe they didn't value you for who you are, what you are. Maybe they asked you to change. They didn't like the way you acted. They didn't like the way you were in general so they wanted you to change okay but i see here that you couldn't change you like the way you wanted to be and this is the main reason why this person is letting go of you so they know that this connection with you will only work out if you both kind of accepted each other's energy otherwise they knew that this connection is really hard to work out so right now after they find this out they really know what they should do and they sh they know what they need to do in order to accomplish so and so into the physical reality so that is what i get for you here generally guys 
so i hope you got the overall energies aquarius so this person kind of like they value this connection with you they value the connection they had with you they know how important you are to them right now and they're focusing on this relationship okay they're completely focused on this relationship so if you're in non-contact if you want to talk to this person this is the right time to kind of contact and talk to them because they are concentrating on this connection and what they can actually accomplish in life with you so this is all i see for you guys here your lucky color for today is red and your lucky crystal for today is citrine bye guys see you all tomorrow channel my lovelies so this is going to be your general reading guys for your uh, general energies and for your love energies so for those of you uh, who want a general reading as well as a love reading this is definitely a right place that you've come so let us just start off the reading my lovelies i will lay out three piles here and each pile for each group of yours so let us just start off with the pile number one two and three i hope these cards are visible to you guys so you can choose one of these piles make sure to meditate for about three to four minutes before you choose any of these piles or um just open your eyes close your eyes for 10 minutes and open your eyes and the pile that you feel the most drawn to is the pile you choose okay so i hope the cards are more visible now so i will be starting with a pile number one here so this is pile number one two and three so you can choose any pile you want and then go to the timestamps that i give in the description box below uh, that you will find the timestamps or you will find the timestamps in the comments uh, some of you please paste the timestamps in the comments and you can go click that and watch the reading and thank you all so much once more for joining me here let us just start off with a pile number one now i'll just keep out all the other cards aside okay so we have the pile number one now here we have the ten of pentacles so the pile number one is all about stability the ten of pentacles definitely represents stability it represents partnerships it represents holding on to someone too tight holding on to some things that you feel is worthy enough so you guys have something that is worthy enough in your mind that you want to hold on to tight or this person feels that you are worth it you are worth sacrificing a lot okay so this person definitely feels that ten of pentacles with you they feel like you are like a complete package you're beautiful you're intelligent you have all the characteristics a person should have and this person definitely feels a bonded connection when it comes to you guys okay so that is the main reason why we have the ten of pentacles here this person feels a bonded relationship with you and it's not just a bonded connection it is also like this person thinks about you most of the time they, they want to always spend time with you they want to always be around you and they even feel like the ten of pentacles can even mean like a financially stable situation so they feel like you are someone who is financially stable they feel you're someone who um knows uh what to keep things you know what to do uh, in a particular situation so this person definitely adores that character about you guys they definitely like how you are the way you are everything that you do generally especially with this card that is the overall energy that i can see here ten of pentacles i will just kick out some more cards guys This person with the Ten of Cups, oh my god, this person definitely feels that you are enough for them. 
Ace of Cups, yes. A lot of emotion. Uh, this is like a more of like an emotional connection filled with a lot of trust, a lot of love. Uh, this is uh, these cards usually comes for uh, people who are grounded in their relationship. Mostly that connection is very grounded. It can be a twin flame or mostly a soulmate connection. It's not a twin flame. But anyways, guys, this card comes usually for higher connections. It doesn't come uh, for low vibrational connections. So again, that is the other thing that I need to specifically say because that is what I can see for you here. Um, definitely with these three cards. Okay, so I hope you got everything that you need to understand for the pile number one. Now I'll be moving on to the pile number two. Okay, so file number two, we have the seven of wands. Wow, so seven of wands, this card is all about partnership. It is all about protection and it's all about fighting for what you love. So if there has been a situation where this person was protecting you or you thought they never protected you, or you had a bad uh, situation with this person, you never felt like they protected you or whatever it is. I can definitely see with these cards that this person does protect you. This person does love you. They do love you. They do care a lot for you. And they're willing to manifest whatever it is with you guys. Okay. That is what I can see here with a seven of wands. They're willing to do whatever it is when it comes to you because they care too much for you. And again, with a seven of wands energy, mostly I can see that this person's thinking about you most uh, always. They're thinking about how they can manifest a relationship with you, how they can grow a connection with you. They do have a lot of thoughts coming up in their mind and most of the thoughts uh, does involve you guys. Okay, does involve you, does involve what they want with you, it does involve how they want to manifest things with you and all of those amazing magical energies. And also this person will definitely support you in all kind of situations. For example, if, you're, if someone is opposing this relationship or someone is against you both i definitely say that this person will help you this person will support you they will they wouldn't take other people's side they will definitely take your side and they will support you and you don't have to worry about that energy much okay <clears throat> i'll just take a few more cards guys we have page of swords and we also have the seven of swords so with these two page and seven both swords I can definitely see that uh, this relationship will uh, go a long way but there needs to be a lot of compromises uh, made in this connection for it to go forward. There need to be a lot of understanding between you both because if you are going to continue with this misunderstanding or with this misunderstanding situation then this might not be possible and I'm really sorry to say this. It, won't be possible okay so please make sure to understand this person completely please make sure to do what you're supposed to manifest what you're supposed to manifest and yes that is it that is all i can see here with these cards guys okay with the page of swords and with the seven of swords definitely i can see here that uh, the focus is on you and this connection okay the focus is on you and this connection with this person okay so that is all i can see here my lovelies i hope this reading really resonated with you guys and bye guys see you all tomorrow bye Now I will be moving on to the pile number three. <clears throat> so we have.
have the five of wands for the pile number three this card is all about looking after one another or taking care of your clan taking care of the people that you love so this card usually comes when you are taking care of the people that you love or you're taking care of the things that you feel connected to so it's just a caring energy here so this person definitely cares for you they're looking after you it can also be like a hiding and looking after energy if uh, you've been far away from this person or definitely if you've been like in a situation far away from this person or maybe like you are in a separation state long distance relationship i can definitely see that they are spying they're seeing you from a far distance especially with the tower card coming next all i can think about is how this person wants a connection with you and what are they doing to come towards you to have this uh, final relationship with you because this person does care too much for you to give up on this connection with you guys okay if you're wanting this person to give up on this connection with you if, they, if you are wanting to this person to give up on this relationship with you it is going to be tough for this person to give up on this relationship okay because they're coming towards you for a reason uh they want to be with you for a reason they're making it happen for you for a reason and yes guys that is also what i can see for you here my lovely So again, this person, whatever happened between you both, it is definitely going to be in the past. Because right now, all I can see here is that this person cares too much for you. They think about you most of the time. And they're even willing to do whatever it is um, that involves you guys. Okay. So thank you all so much for joining me here. Bye guys. See you all tomorrow. Bye.